Keshav Jaini and welcome to my YouTube channel Electronic Curiosity. Today we are going to see what's inside this uh, 85 watt CFL bulb. Uh, this is a long 85 watt CFL bulb. In my last video, I have shown you what's inside this uh, what's inside this 32 watt CFL bulb and its components and what is its input and output voltages. Uh, you can check uh, the link in the description today i am going to see uh, show you uh, what's inside this component and compare with this 32 watt cfl bulb this is as you can see it is broken here it is broken uh, this means it is not working i will show i will just show you uh, the component and compare with the, this 32 watt uh, cfl bulb mm. As you can see, this uh, this CFL uh, 32 volt CFL bulb has a notch, different notch, and this has different notch. Uh, as you can see here, these are different notch. Uh, so this will require different hold holder to hold this. Now I am opening this. Now I am opening this. Now I am opening this. You have to use uh, screwdriver or any sharp thing that will open it. I am opening it like this. This is a big bulb. It is a uh, long lasting and environment friendly CFL bulb. As you can see, I have opened this. This wire is already uh, short circuited it's because of heat. Uh, let's see what are the components. Here you can see uh, it, it has a, here a fuse, and you can see here a black part. Uh, the circuit is burned uh, because of high heat. Uh, here it has a fuse because this is of 85 watt bulb it has here fuse to protect the circuit uh, whole circuit the working of the fuse is that it protect the circuit from the high current to that of normal current flowing in the circuit if there is any high current it will protect the circuit by burning means it has very thin film inside it metal film uh, it will burn uh, because of high temperature uh, so this is a fuse of this is called a glass fuse then these are the register carbon register uh, then this this is the bridge rectifier you can see here this convert AC to DC and uh, then these are the capacitor simple capacitor a PF capacitor these are non polar means they do not have any polarity in both negative or positive then here you can see this is a transformer or toroidal inductor uh, rounded with mm, ferrite coil this is looking like transformer or also called a choke uh, these are simple capacitor or PF and this is also PF these are the resistors or resistance uh, and the difference is these are the mm, uh, transistor here you can see this have transistor simple transistor but here it have this heat sink uh, these are the heat sink that protect in uh, means that protect the transistor from high heat that absorb the heat uh, these are the transistor of high ampere means high power npn transistor i can i will i will tell you its number it is mje13009 i will show the pin diagram on the screen uh, you can google it you can get uh, this pin diagram uh, this is uh, uh, of this is uh, connected with uh, uh, heat sink it will uh, observe its temperature because it is high uh, high power and pure transistor it has 12 amps and 400 watts rating and this is a filter capacitor of value 450 volt 22 microfarads mm, this is uh, DC filter and I think it's sure 
I will show in my last video. So only difference is it has views and this heat sinks. Otherwise the uh, all circuit is similar to uh, to 32 watt uh, to 32 watt um, uh, CFL bulb. Uh, now I will show you this uh, fuse is always connected in series with uh, electronic components because uh, it protect the uh, electronic component from high current it has here screw let's see I am opening it uh, this screw because it is it's very big I am opening it let's see what's the PCB part of it what parts are burned or oh, this is not working I'll show I will just show you I remove this one. Let's open this. Uh, as you can see, uh, this part is one. This part is of uh, this fuse. Means uh, because of the high current, this part is one. The fuse is burnt. And here, means here uh, rectifier. Means because of higher AC because uh, in both fuse and uh, these uh, rectifier are correct to AC that's why they both are burned otherwise the other part will be good I think so uh, you can use this part for the uh, purposes for your assignment or project uh, this uh, uh, this part uh, the rectifier part is burned because it convert AC to DC uh, that's why it is burned I think so and here uh, you can see the fuse part. Fuse part always connected to direct fuse uh, and in series with components, so that will protect the circuit. So, so that's it. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, you can share. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. And that's it. Thank you for watching.